there are a few ways you can add components inside the webflow's rich text element on the CMS. Now I have a rich text element here that is pulling content from the CMS and I want to add a custom component inside the rich text itself. So for example, I want to add a button here. And to do that, for example, I want to add this button. What I need to do is copy the HTML and hard code this directly inside the rich text. So let's see an example of that. Now I can go to the published version of this page and get the HTML of this code. So for example, I can go to this button and I can go to inspect. And here I can go to the HTML element. I can see that this is type input. Now this might not work ideally, but we're doing this just for the sake of showcasing how this works. We can copy the element. We can go to copy and copy the element and then uh, go back to our Webflow project. Here we can add code embed and then we can paste in that element right here. Now this element has a class of button. Button is a class that we've already styled on this project. So probably the styling will be the same. Now, if we go publish this and we see how this looks, we're gonna find the button, you know, parsed here. So let's go to the live version, scroll down. You can see that this button is right here. Now, if this is a component with some children element, I will have to copy each one of them and style them. And this can be a lot of code and it can get messy if this is a very complex or big component. So another way to do this actually was to use components or workflows components itself. So for example, I can add a component here that is button. So this component can be customized as per the CMS item. So for example, I can add the name of the CMS item or um, add the link. And I can also add custom class. So for example, I have set this class that if I uh, write the attribute of height or the class of height, it hides. So I can set this to be a field on my CMS. And if the client wants this block to not have a button, they will write hide and then this will hide. Now this is another way. But again, this way is not helping us add the components inside the rich text itself. However, we have another way to do this, of course, with some JavaScript. And this is a very simple JavaScript that allows you to parse the component inside the rich text with some specific syntax that we're going to preset. So let's see how to do that. Now let's try parsing this component right here. So for example, I have this subscribe to our newsletter component and I want to wrap it in a div block and I'll call this subscribe component. And now this can be a component, actually a Wolfler component, and I can write it subscribe form component. I can add it in a group of forms and then I have it set up. Now I will have to add a custom code. Now I preset this code. You can check it out on this page that I will leave in the description below. So this snippet, we're going to copy it. So we're going to copy the snippet and we're going to add this to our blog page, our CMS page. And now we're going to go through it and see what this does. So this basically has an event listener that looks for a post body rich text and the content inside the rich text itself through the inner HTML. And then we're going to look for any component that has the attribute of data component of something. And then we're going to parse whatever that is inside two brackets that we're going to write inside the rich text. This code will replace that text with the component itself. So let's see how that works out. So in our case here, we have this component that is subscribed to our newsletter. It's a component that has children components. It's a, it's a div block that has a lot of things. So we're going to add the custom attribute here that is data component. And then we're going to call this anything, for example, CTA in our case. So we have this set up now inside the rich text. What I can do is just write bracket bracket and then I write CTA and I'll close them again. Two brackets just to make sure that this never gets confused with the rest of the text or if there is any syntax in the text itself. Now, if we go to the live version and we're going to see that this gets parsed right here, uh, just like we want it and it works and you can subscribe and you can fill in the form just like you would. Now you can do a lot of things. Of course, you can do a divider, you can do a button, you can do a lot of sections and set them up with the right data attribute. And then you can parse them inside the rich text. Now you can set this up for your clients. Let's say they have CTAs, they have subscribe forms like here that they want to include in specific blog posts or in specific articles. So you can set up component libraries. So in this case, 
you can set up a few of them and then perhaps add them in a div block that you can hide or perhaps set up a different components. So for example, I have the subscribe here. I can add more components like this button, for example. Um, I can add what do we have here, global content. So these can be components that I can add. Of course, I will have to add the data attribute to the component itself. So it will be that component and then here text. And whenever I add text here, it will just parse that. Now, what's inside the text will also get parsed. Uh, you can customize this, for example, if I want this text. So I want the heading to be actually, let's hide this and let's show this heading. And this heading can be the name of the post. And this can be the post summary. And uh, now this, as we said, we can add this div block or just add a combo class that says hide. This will hide it and now if we also what do we add the text so we, we also have text here so we have cta we have text so let's publish and see how this will look like on the live version now as you can see here this is parsed correctly now if i go to another cms item of course this is not there i can add it myself here as well so if i go and add here the the component that is text course it's going to parse it with a relevant name because here i have the name that is service offered by branding agencies and even though it's the same text and because this is copying from the cms the relative cms is going to have its own name which is effective branding strategies for modern businesses now again this is a simple method but can be very useful if you want to customize some stuff some pre-built components for your clients and help them be able to add this inside the CMS. You can use this method and we hope soon Webflow will have this natively, but for now you can use this custom snippet that I will again leave in the description below. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned on the next video data and tomorrow we're gonna make some GSAP animations. Stay tuned on that.